Yes, so I have the City Golf here. We have a problem where the accelerator is basically sticking. So we need to know what it could be. You know what I mean? Is it the cable? Is it the throttle body? You know, uh, what, what could it be? Let's start it again. And uh, let's do the accelerator here. Yeah? Okay, so it doesn't feel like the cable. What I will do, I'm going to take the throttle body off and I'm going to clean it and take it from there. So I would take the, I'll take these pipes out of the way, okay, get that pipes loosened up, pulled off there, okay, watch the clamp, um, you know these air pipes just basically uh, push on, okay, we'll get that pipe out of the way, um, you know we get these air pipes to loosen and get out of the way get them out of the way for us there and then um, we'll take this air feed pipe completely out of the way okay and then we'll take the accelerator uh, throttle we'll just unclip the cable there so with the cable out of the way throttle is free there so it's five Allen key. We'll get that loosened up. There's four bolts, okay? One there, one there, and two at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and get this throttle body loosened up. Get back to you when I've got it. All right, so we got the fourth bolt coming out, okay? Um, as you can see, okay? So it's five Allen key there. So the throttle body is completely loose pretty tight in there and there it comes okay so we've got that loose now we've got the whole throttle body loose so now we can clean out the throttle body with some uh, uh, spray and we'll see what happens so I'll just use some spray there okay and get that in there take a brush and just clean that sections out like that just do the outside but remember that it, the cleaning might not solve the problem here okay it's just our first um, our first and our cheapest um, task process of elimination okay so we will do the we will do the the cleaning of it first I think what is important when you do clean these throttle bodies is that when you open up the accelerator like that, you know that you know you get that that gunk inside. All right, you got to clean all that out. I normally just take a brush. I use my finger, you know, just to get inside so we can get that gunk. Sometimes you have dirt resting on the lip, and that prevents the the, the flap from closing all the way hence the high accelerator acceleration you know all right so that's nice and clean i'll go and put it back and it's quite simple you just put it back the same way you took it off use the same bolts everything okay so i'll go and let that dry up nicely and put it back and what i also recommend is that you actually clean the inside here as well spray a little bit you know to get some of that gunk out on the intake manifold over here. not too much because the car will struggle to start okay just clean off that flange okay and let that dry so we can put the new we can put the clean throttle body back well we got the throttle body clean we've got everything put back together so now for the big test it still doesn't seem to be um, doing it so what I'm going to do I'm going to disconnect the battery for a while just to make sure that uh, you know there's no stored four codes in the system so we'll reconnect the battery and then we'll put the ignition on for about two minutes just for the system to set itself 
and you will hear the noise and you can, you know, it self adjusts. Um, who knows, maybe there's been a, you know, a problem there, but I doubt it. The car has got 127,000 kilometers on, which is actually not high mileage for this car. And um, yeah, so let's see what happens. Let's start it. Let's get the sensor, the map sensor out. See if it's very dirty inside. Take it out. Okay, we'll just sort of spray it a little bit, get a bit of a, give it a chance to dry. Well, if we do disconnect this map sensor, you know the idling goes down, but it doesn't. It could very well be that that sensor is faulty then, you know, so if we're going to do a test, we're going to have to do try and uh, put a new map sensor on first so just to recap um, I cleaned the throttle body I cleaned the original uh, map sensor okay which didn't help I put in a brand new map sensor okay so it's idling nicely okay revving it up okay it comes back down to its idling so the main force was the map sensor. I replaced it. Okay. Here's the old one. Okay. I put in a new map sensor and it seemed to have solved the problem. Map sensor, and I don't work with diagnostic equipment, I work purely of experience. Okay. So I have found while I tested it, I took the map sensor off. I kept my finger over the hole there. I started the car up. The car was idling perfect. You know, it idled slightly rough because obviously the map sensor wasn't in. And I revved the car and the, the revs went up and down like it should. And that brought me to the conclusion that it definitely is the map sensor. So on replacing the map sensor, you can see, you know, the proof is in the pudding. The revs up and then it comes down to where it's supposed to be. So I hope that helps you if you have a similar problem with your Volkswagen City Golf 1.4 fuel injection.